All right. So we are live. Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. So welcome to a cooking live with Derek and Crystal. So this should be fun. We are going to take suggestions from the chat and we will make whatever you guys want to make. So uh, if anybody, I don't know, we did this last time. We got like somebody who is often in the chat uh, to be a moderator. So if there's anybody that wants to do that, feel free to, uh, you know, lend us your services for, you know, the next whatever, 45 minutes or an hour or so. But yeah, otherwise we'll get going. We're also going to be answering some questions throughout this video uh, to hopefully like make it, you know, a little bit more valuable to everybody. So good morning. Good morning. Everyone says hello. Hello. Ready to watch you guys instead of Netflix. Oh my gosh. Well, we better put on a show. <laughs> better start dancing. <laughs> so wait till a few people filter in so we can get lots of uh, suggestions on what we should cook. So just uh, let, let me know in the comments if the audio is good and the video is good. We're actually, I think we're using this computer for the first time. Yeah, we've finally uh, upgraded one of our laptops. So the webcam is really clear. Like I'm looking at myself, I'm like, oh goodness. Yeah, it's a little too <laughs> HD. For... It's, it's like really HD. So hopefully that translates into like better video quality. But man, I didn't know that the camera on this was like so much better. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so audio and video is great. All right, awesome. So he said, woo, I'm in the kitchen too. Oh, pizza or BLT. We can we can do pizza, actually. That is definitely something. Actually, let me turn on the let me turn this on. Just a second. I'll be this yeah, way. we're not committed to it yet. We're just uh we're just getting some some options going. I have uh, a pan heating up on the stove, the oven's preheating, and I have some water that's already ready to go as well in case we want to boil water for like pasta or anything like that. Somebody said, you look just fine. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. <laughs> so I hope everyone's having a good morning. I hope everyone's having a good weekend. We are starting to get nice weather here, and we're definitely going to go outside and take advantage of it later on because it is so beautiful. Pizza sounds really good. Hello from Michigan. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Florida here. Yes, what's up, Florida? I was actually watching a live from Florida yesterday. One of my favorite YouTubers, Cletus McFarland, he had like a crazy... Uh, like car thing on event. last night yeah car event on last night and i was watching it so you guys got some rain yesterday is what i saw at least in southern uh southern florida california here what is up virginia hello everybody <laughs> cool nice so how many people oh my gosh we got yeah we got like 200 people on the live so hello from norway hello from ontario from chile victorious vegan here from the atl what's up Hi from Newfoundland. Man, look at this is crazy from all over the world. So yeah, we think it, we tried to do a little earlier than we often do it today, 10 o'clock, because that seems to be like good for be people that are on the West Coast and also people that are on the East Coast as well. And then hopefully some people who are in like the UK and stuff can uh, and Finland can uh, join us as well. So, all right. Are you guys ready to lose an hour of sleep tomorrow? Is that, to, no. is that this weekend? <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't know. I already either. feel tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good. And we haven't had any comments that I look tired this uh this live. So that's good. So that's how we started off the last one. Our first comment was like, you look tired. And I was like, <laughs> You're like yeah. thanks. Perfect. Here we go. 3 p.m. in Brazil now. Oh, what's up? Saskatchewan. Man, everyone just wants to tell us where you're from. Hey, someone said you look tired. All right, you're blocked, John. Uh I prefer more light in the evenings. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That is really nice. Yeah, it that makes more sense. That is to true. Like lighter. That is true. I look awake. I am awake. I feel great. I've been sleeping amazing lately. I've been having so many crazy vivid dreams. I don't want to get into it. All right. So <laughs> you look appropriately energized. Nice. That's a nice way to okay, put it. Okay. So what should we like, yeah. make? So what should we make? <laughs> so throw out your suggestions. Yeah. Throw out some. Are pretty stocked up with stuff. Yeah. We went shopping yesterday. So yeah. Dan asked, what are you cooking? So we're not sure because this is kind of like a... It's like a it's like a live, but you tell us what to cook. So what do you guys want to see us make? I know there's been like a few recommendations for like pizza. Um, I don't necessarily think we could make like pizza dough from scratch. No, but we have we but have, we have like tortilla. tortillas, which is like possibly the best way to have pizza. Yeah. I think. Um, but there's also a lot of other things like someone said pancakes. Yeah, stroganoff. I don't I know. <laughs> I don't know how to make that. <laughs> yeah, we want to try to keep things um an Indian dish that could be nice. Okay, we'll keep okay, we'll get a few suggestions and then you guys can kind of vote on them. Sweet and spicy tofu rice bowl. 
That's pretty good. Or you could just watch any of my full day of evenings and I make that. No, I'm just kidding. Jalapeno poppers. We don't have jalapenos. Yeah, that I don't know how to do. Birthday cake. I don't know about that. Burrito. We did a burrito last time. We could do another burrito, but I don't have huge wraps. So I think last time we did like a fajita or something. Oh. Wasn't that what we did last time? Probably. So It was something different. It wasn't a burrito and we had like a debate on what the difference was. But yeah, we probably can't bake anything mm. really, like make any like desserts or anything, because that would like involve like a recipe. Yeah, and unless we made like kind of like random oatmeal cookies. A <laughs> fresh something. Buddha bowl could do that. Mm, a fresh Buddha bowl would be kind of like a nice idea. Non tuna salad. Okay, use sriracha maple. Oh, someone's suggesting for the sauce. Somebody was like, "I need a sauce recipe," but tahini gets too thick. Yeah, it does get kind of thick sometimes. Satan from scratch. We don't have any of the raw ingredients for that, unfortunately. We're make someone says we're making nachos inspire us. Mm. We don't have we can't make nachos. We don't have tortilla chips. No, we but yeah. nachos are delicious. And I hope you have some um jalapenos going on mm. and some olives. Yeah. Those are like the best. Yeah, they are. Okay. A sub sandwich. Hmm. Okay. We don't really have any great, like, we just have regular bread, you know? Well, mm -hmm. we have not regular bread, yeah. but, like, uh, we don't have, like, It would just buns. be a veggie sandwich. Yeah, it would really just be a veggie one. sandwich. You can put up four options and vote for one. Okay, <laughs> I don't know how to do, I don't know how to, do I know how to do that? Engage with your audience. Start oh, you a can poll. start a poll. Oh, okay. look at this. Okay. Okay, we're going we're to oh, start it's, a poll. It's a poll, though, not like a, huh. That would be what we would answer do. viewer questions live. Start a poll. A poll you could have but like it's either yes or no. Okay. Oh. Pizza. Okay. What should we make? Okay. Hold on. Add option. Okay. We got pizza. pizza Buddha bowl. Buddha. How do you spell it? B U D D H A H A bowl. And then we'll add an option. We'll just put. Oh, cool. This is fun. Uh, somebody else said, what was the other one? Oh, like burrito. Yeah. Burrito vegan sushi. We could do that as well, but it's kind of vegan. Sushi is like a lot down here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's the one thing with burrito. filming this live is that we're doing it from our laptop. So it's really hard to like move mm -hmm. the camera. Okay. Give us uh one more option. Sweet potato fries with tofu. Oh, so that would just say less. That's yeah. like dinner. That's like honestly what we're probably not for dinner. That's that, yeah, but we would just be I uh, that would be just throwing stuff in the instant pot, but I like it. Right. Mediterranean dish, anything with jackfruit. We do have jackfruit, but so curry. That says falafel, falafel. I don't know if we have we would have the right like ingredients for that. Lots of people said lasagna or shepherd's pie. Okay. Shepherd's pie is a little bit intensive. Lasagna, yeah. <laughs> and we'd be waiting like 45 minutes for something to cook in the oven. But I guess like we could do that. Something with potatoes, curry dish. Someone keep, I've seen curry a few well, times. We have like we have like a lasagna recipe up, I guess. Yeah. You know, like that is a really intensive um, thing. Curry. We could do something, a quick curry. French toast. Ooh, that's another good one. Okay, let me get a couple more ideas. So here. like to Oh, you can only, oh, we can only add one more. One more, option. one more. That's why I'm waiting. Mushrooms and tofu with vegetables. That's good. Pad thai. Okay, so let's why go stir French, fry. Or, oh, okay. Oh, what do you say, think? Well, I was going to say we could put like a okay. sweet and we could do French toast because these are all like, we have like three. Okay, French toast. All right, here's the four <laughs> options. Pizza, Buddha bowl, burrito, French toast. And then I'm going to hit ask our community. Let's see what happens here. We've never done this. We've this never done this. So okay, <laughs> here we go. The poll's live. Can you see the poll? Man, we are... <laughs> Yes. Oh, we got oh, some votes. Okay, bootable 50. Oh, pizza. Uh-oh. How do you see the whole results, though? I don't though? know. Oh, here we go. Click back on okay. it. Okay. Oh, oh this French is... toast is coming in hot, actually. <laughs> that was like a game time decision. Okay. Oh, pizza taking over the lead. So we'll give okay. it We'll give it like a few minutes so everyone can get their votes in. Um, yes. There was a super chat from someone named Sissy, and she says spaghetti sauce or oh. salsa. So we didn't include that, but yeah, we don't that. actually have, I don't know if we have a spaghetti sauce recipe. So that might be something that we can make like a video on. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. And we just bought, we actually just bought salsa yesterday. We went to this little store uh, that, yeah. And uh, they had it on sale 99 cents for like $4.99, uh, like fresh salsa. So we bought two of those. We can make a recipe with that. I feel like you've done a salsa recipe, but maybe it was more of like a pico de gallo kind of like. Yeah, it was. Beer. But then I learned it wasn't even Pico de Gallo, remember? <laughs> it was like, so, yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyways, 
Those are really great suggestions. Yeah. And I know we don't have like and thanks for the super chat on those. So we'll have to like put that in the back pocket and figure that out. Yeah, a good spaghetti sauce would be nice. Yeah. Like a lentil. I know we've done like a lentil kind of spaghetti sauce where you use like red lentils and you cook it in the sauce, but French toast is like winning out. Wow. A lot of people want French toast. Okay. Okay. So we're going a little, maybe make might go a little sweet for this. Yeah. Well, we could do that. Okay. Let me think. Let me think. <laughs> okay. I think I got it. <laughs> oh, someone said savory French toast. So what would that like? Savory is sweet and then savory, savory, salty, right? Yeah. Hmm. Well, what, wouldn't you just have to make the mix? So it's a French toast. You must be kidding. No, John, you are not kidding. You're the one that said I was tired too. Get out of here. Uh, are we going to mukbang after cooking? Uh, I don't know if anyone wants to see that. We'll try it. Maybe we'll see how quickly uh, we cook this whole thing and then uh, and how many people are still here. And then we'll go from there. Protein, savory, French toast. I don't understand how we could make it savory, though. But we could add some protein to this French toast. That's, uh, I think so. Um, protein rich French toast. Yes. No clue how you make French toast. I don't know either. This was supposed to be like, not just you tell us exactly what to cook. It was going to be like, you you know, suggestions along the way, you know? But anyways, uh, like we can definitely do this. So um, I've made French toast before. French toast does sound yummy. Okay. I think French toast is the winner. 37%. Bootable was the next uh, thing. So. I feel like we could like make a bootable really easily because we have so many ingredients. We actually prepared some ingredients yesterday. Like we made a little bit of rice and we have mm. some potatoes and stuff. So I feel like we could just like throw that together really easily, but the French toast would be a little bit more intensive. I know. So, so we're going to have to, I what think, are you saying? <laughs> I was like, we can do both, but I think we should just go for one to make it like not so chaotic. Add garlic salt to your egg batter. Oh my God. I don't know. This is uh yes. French toast. I've been waiting, wanting to make this for a while. Make it sweet. Add something savory on the side, like breakfast potatoes. Oh, we do have some, or sweet like a, to or a tofu scramble or something. Too. Yeah. That would, that be, would good be like, that well. wouldn't boost. You can make More of the both French toast and a Buddha bowl. Yes, we could. Okay. So we got to make, okay. I think French toast is like the winner. Yes. And then Buddha bowl. Hopefully we don't upset anybody, uh, but let's go. So I'll end the poll. Yeah. I guess you can end the so poll. So it now. doesn't, one of them doesn't take over you guys. <laughs> yeah. And that was fun. I didn't know that we could do that. So we'll have to, man, we're getting more technologically advanced all the time. So to make uh, French toast, Let's start. I don't know how much I want to just take over this or how much we should take suggestions from the chat. Does anybody have a good um, like wash recipe? Because what I usually do, what I usually do is um, I'm literally making French toast this morning. Fallon Marie says that. Okay, mm -hmm. sweet. So what I usually do is what have I done before? I've used just egg before, but we don't have any of that. I haven't been buying that mm. stuff lately. Uh, just egg is the best for, yeah, base for, uh, for wash. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. But what I usually do is almond milk, banana, exactly. Yep. Oh, with chickpea flour. I've never tried that. Hmm. We could, yeah, we can do it. I usually do like, yeah, almond milk, a banana, mm. and then uh, flaxseed, cinnamon, a tiny bit of maple syrup. And I do that. Okay, someone said okay. aquafaba someone says use tofu <laughs> tofu could work as well oh okay oh all right chickpea flour would be cool do we have chickpea flour yeah ground flaxseed protein powder yeah i'll put some protein powder in there of course uh just got back from the gym oh everyone had a good workout today nice way to go we haven't gone yet so uh yeah i failed hmm. this quiz are you gonna use alfalfa coconut flour we have coconut flour but I feel like chickpea flour would make more sense. Okay. Because it were it would work a little bit. Do you want to get more. the chickpea I'll get flour? Some, I'll get some stuff, yeah. <laughs> Maybe try two variations, if not too time intensive. Okay. We could try that. It would be nice to compare. Two variations. Because it takes only a second to whip up the, the wash, right? Yeah. So I'm use Vivo. Yeah. Okay. We chickpea could, flour. So we've got chickpea flour. Tofu waffles with savory toppings would be good. Okay. We'll do one sweet and one savory. It's going to be good. I think this bread would like soak it up. More. Chickpea flour for that protein. Okay. I was going to do the tofu for the protein one. Cause there's, I mean, there's a little, it's not, there, it's not super protein rich, but it isn't bad. But a quarter of a cup is five grams of protein. So we won't be using uh, that much, you know, probably even so. 
Okay. All right. Cinnamon? Yes, yeah, cinnamon. Okay. Salt? Salt, yep. Cinnamon, salt. Um, and then this will be this this will be the sweet one. We could do a little bit of a uh, protein powder. Somebody's saying, but this one isn't. Well, we can make them all protein rich, but I think one salt, one uh, sweet, and one savory would be kind of cool to try. Okay, so the savory is, or the sweet one will still have the chickpea. Flour? Yeah, the sweet one will have the chickpea flour. Rather oh my god, these are crazy good ideas, you guys. Nice. Yeah, this is why we're doing it. Dash of nutmeg. I like that idea as well. Uh, maybe I'll get Crystal to do that. I don't vanilla. Yeah, vanilla. Yeah, I think this will be good. Okay, <laughs> okay. so we will, we will try it and we'll right. let you guys know if it's good. I'm just gonna start. Might as well. Spicy, cinnamon and nutmeg go together. Yes, they do. Okay, so I'm starting with. Let me tilt this down a tiny bit. See if you guys can see a bit more. Crystal, you'll probably be like out of the frame now. Sorry. Stand up. Ah, uh, nope, pretty good. No, I'm so good. Just not my head's not cut off just yet. Love how positive and inspirational you both are. Awesome. Hey, well, you Thanks. you see the highlights. No, I'm just kidding. We are pretty positive. Uh, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put I'm gonna start with some chickpea flour in here. <laughs> what is this too much? I don't know. Oh, okay. Why are you laughing at me already? I haven't even started anything. Uh, oh yeah, soy milk. We got a little soy milk. So some chickpea flour, some soy milk. So that was about two heaping tablespoons of um, chickpea flour. And I'll do like a splash. How thin? Yeah, this is good. We can always add more liquid, but you can't take it away. That's what I always say. Um, add some date pits in there. No. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said three tablespoons. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's two heaping maybe is three tablespoons. Um, all right. Oh, your eyes are beautiful and Crystal is just a stunning beauty. I had to read oh, that one thanks. out loud. So it's nice to get those. Uh, some sugar and vanilla. Some sugar and some vanilla. Or something maybe that we're going to use that's sweet. Yeah. Uh, so we could go. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of um, protein powder in this as well, just to add a little, cause you know, everyone wants some protein. And chickpea flour, mm, delicious. <laughs> I think it'll be pretty good in the end. Okay. Um, I'm gonna add a, a spoonful, and cause this has some sweetness in it as well, uh, from the stevia and then also some vanilla. So we're gonna, you know, I almost kill a few birds with some stones, but we're not <laughs> doing that on this channel. It's a vegan channel, we're petting birds with one hand, multiple birds, one hand. Okay, there we go. So this is for one piece of bread? Well, or hopefully couple, not. Couple, yeah, a hopefully couple. a couple. Okay. We'll do like two pe I guess we could just do one. One piece of bread for this, one piece of bread for the other one. We'll see. We'll see how it will okay. we... Uh Someone said cinnamon. Yeah, we have cinnamon. Put a little dash of that in. Nutmeg. Do we have any? Yeah, it's right here. I just have oh, it. Oh, perfect. Little, um... uh, that's a feeble amount of... Uh... Someone said not a fan of stevia. Yeah, I know. I'm not a huge fan of it either. That's why I'm like, that's why I didn't use a ton of this. I don't mind it when I make a smoothie. I don't seem to notice it when it's with like bananas and berries and greens and that sort of stuff. But uh, just as a standalone sweetener, I'm not a huge fan either. Tried it in my coffee for a little, like, you know, one time and yeah, not <laughs> great. Oh, got some comments on your hair, Crystal. Everyone likes your hair. I decided to wear a hat today because I did not like my hair. Oh, someone said my hair inspired me to cut my own bangs. Not sure if it was a great idea, but <laughs> oh, mine looks nice. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah. I definitely do not cut mine. I had mine cut from a hairdresser. I tried to trim it, or I tried to trim my bangs last year when I was letting my hair grow out, and it was such, it was like not a great decision. <laughs> I don't know how it can be so hard to like cut these pieces, just go snip, snip, snip. But man, it is an, <laughs> it is an art form. Um, That's one of my but favorite. Having bangs is fun, and but these are like quite long right now. But um, I like them. I think they like are, they frame your they face. frame your face. If they were a little bit higher, they're a little bit long right now. Uh, a little bit of banana as well. I think I'll need some more liquid in here, probably. probably you think? Yeah. yeah, a little bit more liquid. One of my favorite things to watch is when girls uh, try and trim their bangs and they like on, on like uh, on Instagram and stuff and they like cut it and then it like is way too short here. And it's like way too long there. I know. Well, hey, I know what it's like. I cut my own hair too. So trust me, sometimes you foobar it. 
<laughs> and it's not as that's not what you're hoping. Okay, so stand by. I think this is time. Anything else? Uh, we're uh, Sean said I missed what we're making. We are making two different types of French toast. We took a poll. Everyone said French toast. Um, and then we're gonna make one sweet French toast and one savory French toast, which we haven't started that one yet. This is the sweet one. Um, black salt adds a little eggy flavor. Yeah, we could do a little black salt, but this I don't know if it needs the, it. This is for the sweet one right now. Yeah, this is for Maybe the sweet for one. The Maybe one. for the savory one. That's a good idea. Um, okay, so any other suggestions of what we should have in here? I think we're probably good. Let's mix this up and we'll see. So stand by, we're just gonna blend. Might be a little bit loud, but we'll It try. will be a little bit loud, so plug your ears, everybody. Oh, that's not too bad. I, think I feel like it might need a little bit more sweet. Well, maybe not. Oh, it smells nice. The nutmeg is coming through. Oh, it actually smells really good. Yeah, it does. So, better taste it. So, it's pretty, pretty liquidy. Well, let's see. I don't think it mixed everything in the corners too well. That's okay. Yeah, there's a big chunk there. Hold on. One more quick mix. <laughs> a bit of salt in the sweet will bring out the flavors. Do we do that? Do I don't do know. If, I don't remember. Do you guys remember? Did we add salt? I don't think, no, I don't think I did. Okay. So I'll just do a pinch of salt as well. Good idea. Thank you for that. This is why we have you guys here. Toasted nuts on the sweet one. Good idea. Ooh, that would be really yummy. Okay. Do you want to try it first? <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> Especially with weird things like this. Oh, it's nice. It's a little bit bitter with the chickpea flour. Okay. But I think if it's cooked out, it'll be okay. Oh, yeah, the chickpea flour hits a little bit. Hopefully when it cooks, it uh, takes away that beany flavor. It's pretty good. It's not bad, though. Put some ice, apple slices on top when you put it in the pan. Yeah, that's a good idea. The batter looks really good. It is actually pretty good. Um, it's just a little bit beany from the uh, from the chickpea mm. flour, but I feel like that'll cook out. Should we add a bit more sweetness to it, or do you think it's good like this? Well, we're gonna be putting maple syrup on it. Okay, let's try it just like this. I think it'll be good. Here's the bowl we can put it in. Okay, should we do? Let's put the wa this wash aside, and then do the other one, or do you think we should just cook this one right away? Because then we could do them both at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just don't know if our frying pan is big enough for Well, we have, we have other frying pans. Oh, we have many. <laughs> well, here, keep them entertained. I'll get this one heating up. Too. I think we should just put the wash in this and then get going on the other one. Okay, that's what I mean. Okay. Our perfect. communication skills is great. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, um, we could do some nuts as well. Y'all, you know what? I don't know about the chickpea. I don't know about the chickpea flour. I thought I think that's like a far out suggestion. I think we should. It could have been the amount I used, but we'll see. Yeah, I feel like that. Um... I don't know if we should do that for the savory one. Just saying. What chickpea? No, we gotta do something different. We're gonna do like tofu or whatever for the. Uh, oh, that'll be good. For the other one, a little bit of lemon may cut the beanie flavor. Okay. I know, but it also might like curdle it oh, or yeah, something it too, will. you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You should do another poll for the toppings. Okay, we'll do that once we get there. We'll do that. I like that idea. Now that we know how to do that poll. This is a fun one, actually. Do you guys also speak a little French? Un peu. That means a little <laughs> bit, and that's all I know. Oui. Yeah. No, we learned a little bit in school. This, this is a little nard, but the, it's, yeah, it's fine. For the, amount, for the amount of time that we spent learning it in school, we know very little French. I had, I learned it up to grade... 11. When did you learn it French up to? Oh, I think it was grade 11 too. Cause wow. I, I think in grade 12, you didn't have to take it. Mm, and I was yes. like, I don't want to take it because yeah, it's it, hard. Yeah, it is. So it is. It's a tough thing. <laughs> and getting up in front of a class of people and having to like speak a different language when you're bad at it, it's hard. The problem here in Canada is like French um, Canadians are not you don't really, you don't come in contact with a lot no, of French Canadians. Especially not on the West Coast. Uh, in like Quebec. I, which can't is... de I can't deal with that, Crystal. <laughs> well, whatever. It's fun. Oh my God, there's a cat here. And so the problem with learning another language is like, if you don't have other people to talk to in that language, you're not, you're, you're really just learning how to read it. So I feel like I can read French way better than I can speak it because I didn't have any uh, French speakers to speak with. So I was never able to get like fluent or anything. So that's yeah. the thing with like Duolingo and all these like apps that like teach you how to 
speak um, a different language, like it's really hard to converse with people in another language. So Polly wanted to say hello. She's just walking around at our feet. Hello. <laughs> You're nervous. Oh, she's nervous. She's all, all right. shy. She's all shy. I'll get some tofu. Do we have, um, do we only have like firm? That's okay then. That's oh, good. I got some right here. Oh, you got, was it medium? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Nice. How long ago did your families come to Canada? That's a really interesting question. Smoking big pong ribs to the stream. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've done, I did like the ancestry test. A few years ago just to see um you know more about that and it said that my some of my relatives were in like the saint lawrence river settlement or something which is in like eastern canada so that was probably in like the 1700s or something like that so that's maybe when they came over from europe i'm not entirely sure and derek i don't know i don't know my father came like, your dad in, came in from... the set on um, late 70s he came from england Yes, and my or no, no and, early. It would be early seventies. And my dad came from Scotland in like probably around the same time, maybe maybe a little bit earlier. And then my mom's side is from like Canada, I guess. All right, Derek, did you ever try arm wrestling? That's so <laughs> funny. Uh, we should no. try it after. <laughs> we could go right now. <laughs> I don't know. We could try. Have we ever arm wrestled? Well, what, how's this going to work? Because you're, it's going to be. Because I'm strong. I know it's going to be hard. Man, this is going to be good. <laughs> Can you do a Scottish accent? K um, no. Okay, here know. we go. I'd have to think, I have to really think about it. Okay, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, go. <laughs> Holy crap, she's actually really, yo, what? <laughs> Maybe you're like, oh, I'm, you were not even listening to <laughs> Why are you, how are you laughing? I'm trying as hard as I can. I can't lose this. I can't lose. This is my pride. <laughs> okay. okay. Wow. That was uh, a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I feel like I could have won that one. This arm last week is so I feel random. like if I was on the right plane, I would have been Because we weren't even like... We no, let like, me just, let me like crazy. let me just see what it would feel like from here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see what happened. <laughs> she might have had the advantage there, but no, you you're strong. I'm not gonna lie, that was way harder than I thought it was. Well, I didn't even really win. <laughs> <laughs> you're like winded. So yes, I have arm wrestled, and I'm not great. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, I see those videos. I've seen so many videos where people are doing it and they're just like bone snap, but you know, they, they, you know, they've been drinking too much milk. Probably. People said that if I didn't laugh, I, I wouldn't have been so weak. I can't be. That's part Derek, of, that's part of where she gets her strength. Yeah. When me and Derek do anything, I'm always just laughing. It's so hard not to. I don't know. As if like, they don't know if that. Like, if it was like competitive and I didn't know you, no, I would have, I still would have just laughed. Oh, someone asked if I trim my beard or go to a barber. Thank you. I definitely trim it myself. Yeah, no, I just trim it can't, myself. I mean, can't you tell? It's <laughs> just kidding. Just... It looks great from straight on. From the side, a little patchy, but from the from the front. This has this is a little. I don't know what, but we got a little. Uh, oh yeah, it's a little, little right angle. It's going a little on too right That's a little acute. It needs to be a little bit more obtuse. <laughs> Uh, someone said too much milk is bad. No, I'm just kidding. It's because everyone said when someone's bone breaks, they're like, he needs milk. That's why. Okay, let's get on to the second batter. Okay, I'm out of breath. I need like a minute here. Okay. I'm hungry. I'm excited to try these. Okay, so we've got about this much so uh, medium tofu. Well, they say it's medium. It's pretty soft, but I think that's a good amount. Whatever. That's probably too much. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What flavors are we going to do for this one, though? Well, someone said a little eggy. Oh, we're gonna do this egg flavor. Crystal's not a, not a huge fan. Weird. Crystal's not a huge fan. Someone said, add a little at a time. Oh, okay. Someone said, I'm too late. It's never too it's late. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Then I think no, this well, will be nice because we'll just make a couple other pieces if it's too much. That's a lot of tofu, though. I think that person's right. But. Okay, okay, okay. Chickpea flour is great for savory French toast with some black cell. Okay, well, a little late for that. We're gonna try it. We had we have chickpea flour in the other one. Yeah, and it's beanie. 
It's beans. <laughs> oh, here. I got, oh, put it right in the pack, back in the old pack. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Thank you for that. So we've got about half of that. Um, the Vitamix is going to liquefy it, right? Yes, it is. Oh, Mel Rocks, what are you making? Well, we got to tell Mel Rocks. She's like one of the biggest fans of this channel ever. Uh, we're making French toast. We're making one salty or one sa one sweet and one savory. And right now we're working on the savory one. What is black salt? I thought salt was white. Well, black salt is actually uh, pretty much white too. So how's <laughs> that for confusion? <laughs> it's also called Kala Namak. And it is a very sulfury. Woo, eggy, very eggy, eggy kind of, yeah. um, smell to it and kind of gives it that flavor too. It's actually added to a lot of some curries from what I've learned. And, uh, but I like to use it for, uh, I don't actually use it that much, but if I'm making like a tofu scramble and I want it to be a bit eggy, then we do that. Which Vitamix do we have? We have the 5200. That's it. The 5200 from the professional series. It's a, uh, it's an older model. That's what it looks like. I have writing on it because I used to have roommates that wouldn't really know how to like turn it on. They'd always put it like full blast and then turn it on. But uh, yeah, that's the one we have. I love the 5200. It's amazing. Any Vitamix is, is great, but the 5200 is like the strongest motor with the fastest blade speed, but all analog, no digital uh, or yeah, no like digital readouts or anything like that, which would be nice too, but you know, it's, uh, it's really good. Um, alrighty. So what else? Have you ever tried just egg for French toast? I have, and it works phenomenally. But we're not doing that today. We've got some tofu, tofu in there, a tiny bit of black calamanac, black salt, just a touch, because this stuff is pretty potent. That might, That's probably a good amount. Let's hope. Um, I got the Ascent version. I'm probably wrong. Is it? Oh, yeah, that's probably right. What next? Rita? Yeah, what next? Um, someone said nutritional yeast, but I don't know if we have any. Oh, someone said a little goes a long way. Yeah, I know. But I, I only added a little bit. Someone said flaxseed. Okay. Nooch. People said nooch. nooch. Do we have some? Yeah, we have some in here. How is it kind of fresh? Okay. Oh, my God. That's so eggy smelling. <laughs> I oh know. It's not like I ripped one that I didn't. <laughs> okay. I, I'm just hand bombing this in here. A little uh, big pinch. A little big pinch. I feel like okay. a little bit more than that. Oh, know. you think? Okay, put a little more then. Oh, yeah, we could have just done that from the beginning and not grossed everyone out. That's okay. Well, I don't know. We're making it a little savory. Um, let's see. In France, it's just called toast. <laughs> <laughs> Good joke. Um, so what else? You could throw us, uh, you could throw us salt, but yeah. Um, is that a Christmas tree with a single bulb on your fridge? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, yeah, we don't really need... We can just, like, go like that go a little now. bit more straight. Not that you guys... We, we don't want to show that Christmas tree off, but... Um. Please make a vodka French toast from the Soviet Union. <laughs> uh, garlic, garlic. Chives. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay. We, this one's going really... This Garlic powder. This one is going to probably be better than the sweet one, I feel like. I have a feeling. So, yeah, some garlic powder. I get a lot of questions on these containers and these were from oh, the garlic, garlic powder is like smoking. These containers are from uh, a yogurt called Mason Riviera. They make a nice vegan yogurt, pretty high in the sugar, but it's quite good. Super tasty. Oh really gosh, tasty yogurt. Really but uh, yeah. And then you can get these little lids off of uh, like Amazon or our local health food store was carrying them for a little while. And they make just like the best little, um, yeah, little spice jars. Okay, we've got garlic powder in there. Should I just do onion powder as well? I feel like I can't not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oregano. Okay. Mm. Oregano. We're going like a, a little Italiano. Um, do we have oregano? Um, no, oh, can't. Sorry. No oregano. We don't have any oregano. I used all the Italian seeds. Oh, okay. We have sage? No sage. Okay, no that's sage. probably good. Um, I can go outside and get some time. Oh, we have, we have Italian seasoning. Oh, we do. We have Italian seasoning. Should we do that instead of the basil? Good. No oregano, someone said. Okay. And then someone said Italiano. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. No. All right, there we go. Put up another poll. Italian spice or no? 
Uh, smoked paprika. Yes. Well, let's. Should we decide on the no, Italian I, spice? I think that should just go in anyways because okay. that's going to be so good. Okay. Smoked paprika. Someone said, "We'll do it." The way you're teaching about nutrition is so important in our age of misinformation. Well, I don't know about this video, but yes, I try. I feel like I got to do more. I, people say that, and I'm like, I feel like I don't teach that much. I feel like I should do more of that. But yeah, there is a lot of like misinformation. I know. I just heard this morning somebody put up like it was a reel, and someone was like, it was like someone who's well known and they're not very healthy and they're like you, everyone says they're having a smoothie in the morning and think they're getting healthy you're killing yourself you're killing yourself <laughs> like oh okay what like a, that a smoothie is so broad like it could just be like fruit loops and like yeah you know and like whatever like chocolate milk or something or you could be having like a nice green smoothie or something like that anyways um so the smoked paprika went in there I would love if you taught us more. Okay, I will. So no, no. to the no, not ever. No, no one wants. No, no, not no one. Fifty-five percent of people do not want the Italian season. That's a large percentile. So we will leave okay. it out. So I think we'll we can probably blend this up then. Add a little bit of milk. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. I feel like okay, whatever. All right. Minced mint. Yeah, we don't have any mint. Okay. Minced mint. Okay, cool. I think mm -hmm. that's good. I think we might have added a little bit more, but we'll see. We'll okay, see. let's see. There we go. This is interesting. Oh, parsley, someone said. Well, maybe we should. Maybe we'll put those on after so they don't maybe burn when we're cooking them or something. Yeah, sure. Someone asked, how did I become a certified nutritionist? What school, etc.? I knew I'd get this question one day. <laughs> I went to um, the IHN, the Institute of Holistic Nutrition. I went to the um, I went to the one in Vancouver in Kitsilano. And yeah, that's how I became a certified nutritional practitioner. It's CNP is the letters uh, behind my name. It's kind of mm. like it's like holistic nutrition. That smells eggy. It's interesting. It it smells pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Should we taste it? I I don't know about this one raw. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's not bad. Salt. It just tastes yeah. Salt. It just we tastes need salt. like no. There's uh, calamineck in it. Yeah, but that's not that salty. Pretty salty. Mm. It's actually it's good. It, it just like, it um, just tastes like milky tofu kind of. It tastes with, like, like a, a lot of flavor. Yeah. It, that's what I, yes, yes. It tastes like quiche. We just made quiche. Pepper. It's, Someone said pepper. It's good. Yeah, this is pepper. actually, I think I prefer the savory over the sweet mix, but we'll see how they cook it. Pepper. Someone asked who my favorite vegan influencer is. Huh? Me. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really, I don't really know. Um, hmm. I don't know. I like, there's so many different. I like so many different people for different things, you know, like my good buddy, Brian Turner puts up some great bodybuilding content. So does Nimai. He's a, a interesting, colorful character to watch his uh, stories and stuff like that. And then there's like Joey Carstrong who's just, you know, out there on the street doing lots of difficult work and having difficult conversations. There's, yeah, there's lots of people that, that do the thing. Turmeric, someone said. I've seen, yeah, I've seen Game Changers. No, we're not making vegan omelet. Anybody that's new here, we're making um, two different types of uh, French toast. So we're going to put the bread in here now, I think. Um, this is a oh. sweet uh, wash with some, yeah, I don't, you have to go back and watch it. <laughs> this is a savory one that we just made. So I'm overusing this bread. Okay. Because this one, this yeah, bread, no. I feel like it'll suck up the flavors. Right. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> this is going to be fun. Um, we don't want to like, don't want to make it too soggy. I think, right? I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't okay. know if I've ever made French toast. I think we'll need a little bit because <laughs> we're not using a nonstick pan. We're gonna have to put oh, a stale, little bit of stale bread is best. Oh no! Is well, can you I... use fresh bread? Uh oh. Mm. I'm going to the vegan. So we just got a super chat right quick. It said I'm gonna go to the vegan camping trip in June. Food speakers, yoga 
cramping, <laughs> yoga cramping. Yeah, that's if I do yoga, that's what happens. <laughs> yoga camping in the mountains. I actually got a message from the girl, uh, one of the organizers, and I have not messaged them back yet. And I should do that because that's one I would probably, I'd like to go to that. Um, so should yeah, we... thanks for that, Peter. And maybe I will see you there. If not as a speaker, as somebody who's just attending, that'd be pretty sweet. Should we toast the bread first S somebody or said use fresh? Somebody said you don't want to make it soggy. No, Fallon said that. I second the toast it first. Okay, I'm going to toast it. Yeah, live stream will be available afterwards. If you have day old, that's even better. Well, this has been in the fridge for a while, but it's not like day old. Okay, we're going to toast. Oh, it's not plugged in. You can unplug the, um, the power. Okay, people said toast it first. That's interesting. Yeah, because whenever I do it, I just put it in there. Like, I know it's not raw, but you know what I mean. And then it kind of does get a little bit soggy. Watch out. The I feel like we're going to have to make a couple more pieces. I think so, too. I've never toasted the bread first. Yeah, me neither. Mm, not allowed on the counter. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> okay, so. You know what's really hard is, like, teaching cats not to do bad things. Because <laughs> they don't listen. They're not like dogs. <laughs> yeah no kidding i know people say like spray bottles and stuff but we don't oh, do that that'd be, that'd be that. man i'm actually really excited for this one i'm glad we decided to do both of these so what we should do now is we should think of the topic yes so it said lightly just to draw out the moisture so we'll get these two in quickly after because we don't want it actually like toasty toasty but a little bit more maybe <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's just, yeah don't toast it first i'm a chef if that means anything no, you have no qualifications. <laughs> okay. It will well, burn if you toast it. Okay. But, the, but we are using like, we are using quite like, this is like um, sprouted whole grain bread and it's pretty glutinous, but um, yeah. But anyways, okay. Don't toast. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay. Well, here, what we'll do this one lightly toasted. Yeah, exactly. Here, put these here. And, and we'll do no toast on these ones. Let's go a little bit down. Is that better than our faces? Well, we can do a little half, half. That's an awkward angle. What do you guys think? That's fine. Okay, let's just do this really quickly. Okay, toast. So let's put let's get another because yeah, here. You do that and I'll get another um where are things here? Because we gotta like kind of take it out of there quickly and then into here. But we'll just have this okay. here to put okay. these on. Toast, toast. See what I'm saying? Put yeah. them on here after. And then I'm going to put a little bit of oil in the pan because we're using um, stainless steel. They might stick. How hot are these? Okay, they're pretty warm. But not too hot. Oh my gosh. You, you, what happened? The liquid made so much. We could make so many pieces. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> This is going to be great. Okay. All right. You guys get the idea. <laughs> Back up to the, the money makers. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Not, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. What I used to do is really mash it down, but that makes it too soggy. I'm a little bit nervous now that we have a chef watching. <laughs> straight into the pan. Oh my God. We're doing it wrong. Okay. No, that's okay. We can go straight into the wall. Well, it's close enough. Okay, here, coming over. Hold on, stand by. Okay, which one's this? Uh, this, is put it the, in. this is savory. Okay, put it in. Is this a savory one? Yes. You're mixing it with the Excellent. other one? What is going on here? Oh my God, I turned my back for two seconds. There we go. Nice. <laughs> imagine here we go. Had, imagine if we had our own cooking show, how hectic it would be. Oh, I guess this goodness. is what this is. Oh my gosh. Okay, and then these ones in the pan as well. Yeah, those are the sweet ones. Okay. Will it stack? That's so or will it stick? Um yes. yes, but Derek put a little bit of oil in the pans um because they are not non-stick pans, they are stainless steel. So yeah. sometimes a little oil goes a long way. We're hoping. Oil the side. <laughs> Someone said I'd pay to watch that. We should start like an OnlyFans, but like for cooking. Oh, only recipes Appa or something. Apparently it's not all just like nudity and stuff. So what I've heard. No, I think, I think, yeah, that's what the film is. But I think that's who's making bank on it though. Yeah, I don't think you make much money unless you're in Oh my God, nude cooking show. Yeah, that would. <laughs> <laughs> that would, sounds dangerous. Yes, it would be really spicy. 
spicy. All like the foods going up. Only pants? That would be funny. Medium heat. Is this that chef talk piping in again? Jesus. No, it is medium heat. It's, um, we have it at like a two out of 10, but uh, you know, with electric stoves, it's like one is like low and then like two is like melt your pan. So maybe three melt the pan. Okay. So what should we think for oh, yeah. toppings? toppings? Someone said apple slices. So I'm going to start put the... Well, I think we're just, yeah, okay. Oh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna saute some uh, <laughs> some nuts because somebody said that, and I already have a hot pan. So should we do a poll for the toppings, or should we just do a bunch of toppings? Well, because we have a bunch of stuff we could put on. Yeah, this. let's let's just do it. I don't okay. know. I think we could just do some. Well, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some toasted nuts. I'll do um <laughs> I'll do some. Uh, why is that funny? Uh, pecans, <laughs> walnuts, and uh, what else? Pecan walnuts and maybe some cashew. No, not cashews. Apple cinnamon pecan. Mm. Pecans and walnuts for sure. Lemon juice and powdered sugar. That would be really good. We don't have. I don't think we have any powdered sugar. But like, oh my goodness. No, you can make you can make powdered sugar in the Vitamix though if you just like blast sugar. Apparently. Yes. Um, almonds. Someone said caramelized bananas. That would be really good as well. Flaked almonds. Okay, sweet. It's well, getting very smoky. It's not that smoky. Okay. What's everyone up to this weekend other than watch, watching this chaos? <laughs> I'm going to do a bit of maple syrup with the nuts, I think, and cinnamon. Mm. And then somebody said almonds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Walnuts, pecans, and some almonds. Okay, be right back. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, here they go. have the almonds. Are these those like raw ones? No? Yeah, I think so. they're good. Mm -hmm. really good. All right, and then I'll do some almonds. Someone said like shaved almonds. I'll just slice them up pretty small. Someone said studying. Someone said drinking while cooking is a must. It goes better. Nice. Add cinnamon to syrup. Yeah, I'll do maple syrup and cinnamon for these. Do you want to pour? Do you want to pour some uh, maple syrup and cinnamon in there, please? Can you Hot guys? Honey. Can you buy maple syrup like this, this much where you are? Because uh, this isn't this isn't even from Costco. Like this is just like regular old. Just go to the store and you just get a bunch of maple syrup. It's delicious. That is so much maple syrup. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. It'll be good. It'll be good. <laughs> okay. So so it's a queso sauce. Oh, for this other one? For the mm. savory one. Someone also said roasted um, mushrooms, which would be really good. Oh, that would be. I don't know if we have time to roast mushrooms. We could saute some. Oh, sorry. I think that's probably. Okay. Some liquid smoke to the maple syrup and warm it. Mm. If, should we add a little liquid smoke to that? Oh, I guess. Yeah, we could try that. Liquid smoke. A couple just a, just like one, maybe two drops. There. Okay, that's good. Three drops. <laughs> Cooked berries with stevia and coconut cream. Yeah, there's a lot of options for the sweet. I think we're going to cut up some banana, and then we're going to do apples and cinnamon. And okay. then Derek's going to do some... I think I have to flip these. Roasted nuts, yes. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Let us show everybody. Look at that. Oh, that's amazing. That looks so delicious. Okay, entertain the crowd. I gotta flip these. <laughs> oh, they're sticking. Someone said saute onions with miso for ultra umami. That would be really good. I'm struggling back here. Derek's struggling, so let's not give him too many jobs right, right now. Man, stainless steel pans. Yeah, stainless steel pans are to cook with. I feel like I need to do more oil on the bottom of this one. But this is coming along. It's working. It's working. Okay, this isn't going to work. Okay. 
this one work. It needs to be even lower. Than this one. All right. How's everyone? We're just chilling. Nice. I actually don't like maple syrup. What? <gasps> How dare you? What don't you like about maple syrup? I don't find that it has much of a flavor, but I guess it does. So I don't mind me back here just hacking away. <laughs> Derek and I are still trying to find like the perfect pan for us that's not coated with a bunch of stuff yeah. to make it non-stick, but that's not fully, <laughs> or like it's full, it's stainless steel, but it's like the magic pan that doesn't stick or something. Yeah, and I feel, yeah, sometimes, so I know there's like techniques with um, stainless steel pans, like get it to a certain temperature, this and that, but like every once in a while, it just sticks no matter what you do. Anyways, avocado on the savory one, good idea. We'll get avocado. <laughs> oh my goodness. Once I get the, once I get it, okay, don't laugh, it's working. The, this so stuck right now but it'll be great it'll be great no it's it is working it's okay i'm just using a little more oil than i like to the the buyer carbon steel pan oh i don't even know what that is that sounds interesting it sounds expensive <laughs> cast iron is best yeah if you season it properly we have a cast iron yeah, but we just okay. didn't really like season it. Um, I don't know how it, it, it seemed like a lot of work. A lot yeah, of it seemed time. like a lot. It just a lot of work. Oh, I just had a little sample of the um, sweet, the sweet one, with, and it's really good. Okay, here I'll show you where we're all at. So here's the uh, there's the Ooh, sweet one. That looks good. And then. Here is the savory one. Yum. Yeah. This one smells so good. Wow. Okay. And then here are here are those uh Ooh, the nuts the look sweet nuts amazing. that we made. Yeah, they look really good. They're I just cut up ready. some apples and banana and I'm gonna pour. Should some we saute those? We could saute them in this pan. You don't think they'll stick? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you think? Hold on, let me get these out of here. Do you think? Let's taste it. Oh yeah, we don't want them together. Wow. A little salt. Remember someone said a little salt. Oh, sweet. They're so good. I think they're probably ready. Add them to the nuts. Okay, put them right in there. That's all that we needed to hear. So we added some bananas and cinnamon apples to the Candied nuts and it's gonna be delicious. Oh my goodness. I'd love to be able to smell those. Well, they you, smell so good. You can just follow, yeah. follow along. <laughs> Rewatch. I know. Imagine if there was smell o vision. That would be if you're cooking something really good, that would be really fun. Here's a little piece of the savory one that fell off. Let's try it. It's not quite cooked yet, but wow. It tastes like quiche. Oh, it's so good. Oh, wow. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what the sweet one tastes like with the chickpea flour. Mm. So we need um, avocado. We had a ripe one somewhere, didn't we? Hopefully. What else did we put? Did we have any other suggestions on the... Uh, is, this the is this right? Let's check it out. You need ketchup on the savory one. Ooh, that might that might work. Cashew cream. Hmm. Someone asked us if we count our Some calories. Uh, no, neither of us count. Yes, that's a good one. Neither of us count our calories. Uh, yeah, we don't. We just we eat a lot. Like when we every meal we eat, we eat like quite a bit, and uh, we just try and make it like pretty good healthy foods. You know, it's hard to overeat when you're eating mostly whole plant foods. So uh, that's kind of it for me. If I'm trying to like gain muscle or like gain size, I should say, hopefully muscle comes with it. I just uh, will add an extra, <laughs> like an extra meal, uh, especially in the morning before my workouts. I'll have like peanut butter, 
coast uh, where I'll have like a smoothie in the middle of the day. Just get like one extra meal in there. And then if I'm trying to like cut down, I just like cut that out and then also cut out any of the other, any other stuff that I'm eating that's just like extra things like, you know, like granola and, um, you know, just like little snacks and stuff like that. I should probably, you know, that aren't the healthiest. So it says banning meat good for fat loss. Well, it's, you know, it's just the caloric, uh, it's like your total, you know, calorie intake at the end of the day, really. So uh, I think that it's quite a dense source of calories, but, you know, some people would argue and say it's the best thing ever for, <laughs> for fat loss, but I, I don't know. I, I would say, you know, I, I stay lean pretty much year round and I don't have any problems with that. And of course I don't need any meat, so. Uh, but there's, yeah, whatever. I don't know. I, I'll leave it at that. Uh, splash of hot sauce. Yes. Um, do you get B12 shots or just rely on fortification of plant milks? No, we actually supplement it with uh, liquid B12 drops. Uh, Viva Life makes one, but uh, we also, there's uh, lots of different ones out there as well. So that's what I'll do. But I have to be careful of my B12 intake because if I have too much, it actually makes me have uh, some like, pimples which is kind of like a it's rare it's like apparently one in ten people or so if you take large doses for a little while that can happen excuse and uh i noticed that um excuse me yeah i've noticed that many many times it's a pattern with me if i kind of keep my dose pretty high for a little while then i definitely get uh like act which is kind of weird <laughs> look how beautiful you are um carbs are full of sugar well i mean define sugar Someone said, yes, B12 too makes me have two, makes me have pimples. Yeah, it's weird. You're one of the lucky 10% of people uh, that have the same thing with B12 and pimples. Well, so yeah, what I, what I do is just take a small amount daily and I just try and, uh, I just try and stay consistent Excuse with me, that. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Um, yeah, isn't that funny? Can you get B12 naturally on a vegan diet? Well, no, I mean, B12 is like, uh, it's a microbe that's in the soil. So if we weren't eating, like, apparently, if we weren't eating, like, you know, these sterile veggies and stuff like that, uh, with a bit of dirt and that sort of stuff on them, then apparently we'd be getting enough. Also probably drinking, uh, water that was like, on, uh, to like, uh, yeah, not, you know, totally filtered groundwater and that sort of stuff, like from springs or whatever, we'd probably be getting a good amount, but, um, yeah, generally you don't get, uh, enough. So. Unless it's in fortified foods. Unless it's in fortified foods, that's of course. They yeah. say that there's some in, in like fortified B12. Uh, but yeah, I mean, but B12 isn't a B12 deficiency is not a vegan specific deficiency. So even people that you know eat meat and stuff also get that. Um, you can get B12 from raw sweet potato. I don't know about that, but hey. All right, so yeah, we're definitely getting there. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll cut up some of these, I'll cut up some of this, uh, avocado for the savory one. What else are we putting on the savory one? Do we have any other, other suggestions, Crystal? Um, I don't know. What else should we put? I think like avocado would be good. That's what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> any other suggestions? <laughs> Anybody? Cilantro. Ooh. Oh yeah, herbs. Yeah, we have some we have some cilantro. I know that'll be a controversial one, but you know, if you make this at home, you don't have to put it on. Tomato and herbs. We actually don't have any tomato right now, but that would be a really salsa. good one. Salsa. Salsa. <laughs> That's Crystal's vote. Salsa. Nice. Someone else's salsa instead. Yeah. Uh mushrooms. We do have mushrooms, but I feel like just in the best interest of time, I think we'll probably leave the mushrooms out because it would require us to salt uh to saute them again. But uh, I think we're getting pretty close here, aren't we? Oh yeah, we're like done everything. Okay. I'm just gonna have to plate it up. Yeah, grab some plates. Oh man, this is gonna be good. Sauteed onions and garlic. Yeah, that would be good. Sun-dried tomatoes don't have mushrooms. Man, a lot of votes for mushrooms. Mushrooms would be like fire. I'm not gonna lie, but I would have had to have sauteed that earlier and we already have like our three yeah, we, we actually like we just like three pans going. Like, we don't, don't have, have anymore. Any I don't think. Someone said no time. No, don't worry. We won't have time. <laughs> time has uh, it's it needs to be in a time specific is so ingredient. Good, though. Ah, yeah, it is, but it needs to be like in the right thing. Mm -hmm. Um, cool. Green right. onions. Yes. 
That would be good. Oh, I don't know if we have a green onions though. If we bought some. Are you onions. saying there's not much room? <laughs> yeah. Good joke. Good joke. No, we don't have any green onions. Oh. Dang it. That would have been good too. Okay, so here's the uh, in here. this little mix right here. This is smelling amazing. That looks so good. It does. It looks really good. Okay. Man, we all came up with like a pretty good idea. Mustard though, mustard and avocado. Mmm. Mmm. Could be all right. So this. Someone one... suggested ketchup. Yeah. But now we're thinking mustard yeah. for the savory. But but if we do salsa, I don't think ketchup and salsa. Oh yeah. You know what I'm no, I think salsa over. I ketchup. think salsa over sure. ketchup. So okay, yeah, it turned out pretty good. This. So Look here's the sweet. Pizza. Here's the sweet one. <laughs> French toast. Yep. Yeah, thank you. That was kind of driving me nuts. That cupboard being open. Salsa, salsa. Yeah, this one cooked pretty well too. Could have done a little bit better on the edges, but it's gonna be good. There we go. So we'll do one plate sweet and one plate savory. Yeah. <laughs> Great <laughs> idea. <laughs> I'm smart. All right, I, have, I just have to try it. Oh, wow. That's good. Here. I'll try that. All right? Mm. Yeah, it's good. I don't, know, I don't know if we have jalapenos. So chick the chickpea flavor disappeared, by the way, everybody. The beany flavor. Yeah, is that was that the beany flavor? Yeah, that was the bean one. <gasps> olives? Ooh, olives would be good, too. Nice. So here's, we do have some um, jalapenos. Here's how uh, this one turned out, the savory one. Hit. Oh, those are like sweet, sugary jalapenos. Mom got us those. Spicy Ooh. mayo or pepper flakes. Oh, yeah. We don't have any spicy mayo, but that would be really good on here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So in the end, not too bad. The pan, not bad. I have to say, took a little bit of work, but not bad. Okay, let me turn these off so the cat don't jump. Actually, let me just put these back on here so the cats don't jump on here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that would be yeah. that would make for not a very good live if the cat jumped on there. Thankfully, the cats are pretty smart. They don't usually go on there. Yeah, they don't it. jump on there. They seem to know. Okay, so which one's the sweet one? Let's dress it up uh, here. All right, so put some of that on. Okay, excuse me. Someone said one cat jumped on the counter earlier. Yeah, they yeah, jump they on do. the counter, they but they do. they don't often jump on the um, stove, especially when there's stuff on there. They, so they're smart. Animals are so smart. But I just think about that; it would just be so terrible. Oh my gosh! Obviously, goes without saying. So this is like the. Maple syrup, veg, um, fruit, nuts. How does that look? Yeah. Oh, and fresh strawberries. <gasps> yes. Do we have those? Yeah. I'm just going to have a spoonful of this if you guys don't mind. Mmm. Yogurt. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be good. We don't have any uh, yogurt, though, in church or anything. No. Mm -mm. No. Hold that for one sec. And then, should do we need an extra drizzle of maple syrup on that, or do you think it'll be sweet enough? It's pretty good as it is. Drizzle peanut butter on. Oh, now you're now, just now, now we're talking. You're just, that's crazy talk. You no, know, that would actually. Be I think that would be the that that's the that's move. the move. Okay, okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you can't say peanut butter and me not have it. That's like one of those things. This has been so fun. Yeah, this has been fun. These are always like, I, I don't know, I like the cooking ones, even though we've only done it a couple of times. I always think they're like so fun. Okay, some some of that. Excuse my hands. This is how it goes in this household sometimes. Drizzle peanut wow. butter. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'll hold it. You can drizzle the peanut butter because I feel like I'm not, no, I'm not gonna drizzling. I'm gonna run out of cutlery here. I'll use a, yeah. I'll use a fork. <laughs> We were running pretty lean in this house as far as cutlery goes because the more we have, you know, the more you got to wash. So, okay. 
Oh, Lord. Oh, <laughs> Lord. If your mouth's not watering right now, I don't know what's wrong with you. Oh, my. Wow. Okay. There we go. Yes, please. Did I miss any, like, completely? No, I think that's pretty good. I think that's probably pretty good, so. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got to make the savory one. Yeah. And then we'll show you. At the end, with the bubble, oh. I'm so excited. So instead, they keep their uh, peanut butter in the fridge. They didn't know it was okay to keep it in the cupboard. Yeah, I think they often do say this one actually doesn't say it. Oh. Oh no, it says yeah, what, refrigerate after opening, but we never do, and we're still here. <laughs> but we also go through it like fairly quickly. Like this maybe lasts us what two weeks. Oh, I mean, I mean that would be nice. I'm doubtful. Like so, maybe a week. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you guys will have to let us know. Does anyone else just keep it in the cupboard? If we keep it in the fridge. There's it's no, really, it gets hard, yeah. and it's not as runny, and it's just annoying. We never do, know. yeah, someone said we never do either. But where's the crunchy peanut butter? I don't know, not here. This is creamy. But what matters most is that it's like natural peanut butter, no added weirdness to it. Yeah. Okay, that, this looks amazing. Okay, so for the savory, we'll do some... Yeah, we have the avocado. Should we do salsa first? Mm. On top, or? Um, I think salsa would be like the last, like that would be like the peanut butter, you know? Smart, yes. And the we avocado. Don't like to be soggy. No, avocado. I take it out of the fridge and it's good to drizzle in about five to ten minutes. Okay, there you go. So since it's salsa, peanut butter is extremely hydrophobic, so it's a poor environment for bacteria. That's good to know then, so we're not yeah. going to get sick and die. Okay, let me just kind of hand bomb this on there. <gasps> oh my god, it looks it already looks really good and smells really good. Yeah, it does. Whoops. Come on. <laughs> yeah, this has been fun. Oh my gosh, it's going to be good. Okay, and then, and then all, some olives or cilantro next? Cilantro. I feel like this is, yeah, cilantro because we're going with the salsa. Yeah. Yeah, some people aren't it's gotta like happen. This, it's but... just gotta happen, and I'm sorry if you don't like cilantro, but we love cilantro. Someone said, "Did you see Impossible Burger Light that came out with only one gram of saturated fat? It's a game changer for me getting protein." No, I have not seen that. Didn't know about that. Maybe in America, but we'll probably get it here in Canada in like five to ten years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy when we've been to the states, like the amount of uh, like just good fun, like products on the market. And then here we just don't get access to but it's kind as, of fun as much. Yeah. As we much have better. definitely more and more all the time, yeah. but it does kind of save us money. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like when we go to LA and there's like, we go to like the whole foods and it's just like, Oh my God, it's that. But then you end up just having like so many packages of like 125 grams of like little, you know, little <laughs> nuts and coated seeds and sweet things. And, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't want too much of that. That's probably good. Boom. Okay. What do you think? Look good. Now what? Salsa? Jalapenos. Okay, couple. Salsa. Just okay. a couple little jalapenos. Okay. Some olives. We have to cut those out. These are um, these are like candied jalapenos. I've been kind of not having them because I wanted to like save them for something special, but this seems like something special. Mmm. Wow. Okay. It's going to be good. <laughs> it's noon olives. and I haven't eaten yet. This is making me so hungry. I had breakfast and this is making me hungry. Uh, UK is best for vegans. It is. I was so yeah. surprised when I went there as well how good it was. And you can walk in and just get like, you know, it's like you go, it's like the equivalent of going to like a 7 Eleven here or something. Yeah. And then there's just like vegan options. Yeah. What like was sandwiches that? Sandwiches and like all that kind of stuff. What was that place called that had the vegan um, sausage rolls that was always sold out? Or or something? Yeah, something like that. I think it was Greg's that you love that. It was so good for you. But they were always sold out. Which yeah, is yeah, wild. yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that place is. Anyways, oh, Greg's. Yeah, everyone, everyone knew old Greg's. It was fun. Okay, I'm just cutting up some olives to go on here as well. Someone said hemp seeds. That could be good on here too. You could even sprinkle those on that, like hemp seeds on the other one, this um, savory one or sweet one. I always confuse that in my brain. I just want to say, why isn't it just salty? Why does it have to be savory? Okay, anyways, sorry about that little fit of rage. Some olives. Olives. Oh, it looks so good. 
looks so good. It's like we're making salsa. <laughs> or not salsa, uh, like uh, nachos or we something can, almost. And then I guess we can drizzle the salsa on top because that looks pretty good for like a savory French toast. Yeah. Any other last minute uh, options? No, someone said salsa. <laughs> he said it a few times. Um, okay, cool. Papitas? Oh. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin we have some seeds. pumpkin seeds that are like salted on top. You could put that. I think that would right. be better than like hemp seeds. Okay, on this one? Yeah. Okay. We didn't make the jalapenos. Derek's mom actually bought them um, from like a, a person that makes them and brings them to like a farmer's uh, market. Like a farmer's market. So we didn't make them. So I'm not sure how you make them, but they're really good. So these are lightly salted uh, pumpkin seeds, papitas. And then uh, while I'm here, we'll just go the, to balance the old omegas here. We'll just do a little hemp seeds on the sweet one. Very nice. Well, I'm going to take pictures of these before we eat them so I can put them on uh, our Instagram stories. And, and then, then a little salsa. salsa drizzle. Fun. Oh, the 99 cent salsa that we bought yesterday. And it's not even <laughs> like completely out of date or anything, which was really nice. Wow. Okay. This is going to be a good. Someone said that there's so many toppings we won't be able to taste the French toast. Which no, I, I mean, true. I think true. we will. I think we will. But the French toast is really just a vehicle mm -hmm. for, fla for flavor. It's kind of like pizza crust. You don't really, you know, it's just there to deliver things to your mouth. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to clean this up real quick. We need a Costco haul video. Yeah, we do. Uh, I went to do that. We went to do it. We tried, hey, the other, like a couple weeks ago. It's hard because and the Costco that we go to is like the only one within like, you know, like. 200 a, mile radius pretty so much. It's, it's super like crazy. Busy. Maybe not that far, but it is, it's really uh, busy. But no, what we have to do is like voice over it, I guess, or voice over parts of it. That would be really, that would be really cool. Okay, let me just. Uh, it's just hard to film because we try to be phone? as respectful as we can okay. of people, obviously, in the background and just, you know, that kind of thing. So it's um, difficult. Yeah, it is. And we're like, kind of like, we're a little bit shy vlogging in public because it's not like, like when we're in LA, it's like every other person is just like vlogging, walking around <laughs> live streaming. But here. <laughs> People are like, whoa, are you filming a movie? What are you doing? Matt, I remember Derek was taking a picture or a video or something of like this really cool truck that he had saw. Um, it was parked outside of its importance because Derek's like a big car guy. And you and there was someone in there and they were like oh, so yeah. scared of him. And they, I guess maybe they thought Derek was like filming with them in the background and they were so scared. And you just have to be respectful. Yeah, um, show the live. <laughs> I'll put this up on my Instagram stories after. Pretty awesome. Okay. So yeah, we have to be, res we just try, we try to be respectful. I mean, obviously yeah. we don't want to, I wouldn't want to be f filmed in the background of someone's thing if I didn't want to be filmed either. Eh, I know. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, we're going to try them now. Uh, which one first? I'm just trying to think, I'm trying to like ask my taste buds in my head, like which one, which one should we try first? Which one first, sweet or sweet. savory? Got to take the presentation pictures, of course. I know. Uh, we didn't take a picture. Did it even happen? Okay, and we need knives too. Oh, that knife will work. This one. My buddy RJ bought me this knife a long time ago, and he gave it to me with a, a penny. Was it? Is that what you do? Yeah. Or apparently, you know, something. A penny or a nickel? A nickel, I think it is. And it's like means good luck or something. I really appreciated it, and I still use Dessert it. Dessert okay. after savory. Pull? No, I don't know. Des <laughs> oh, yeah, savory. Yeah, that makes sense. Dessert after savory. Okay, so we're going to try this one first. This is, uh, we'll call it like a, a quiche French toast. That's kind of what, <laughs> what happened there. Man, it looks really good. Okay, we'll do it down so we can see us getting into it. Okay, oh, yeah, we needed two knives here. Oh, you're just going to get it like that. I see. I think it's pretty soft. I don't know if it needs a knife. Okay, it is. Oh, oh that's my gosh. too big of a bite for it for YouTube. You can cut it. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. <laughs> mm. It's perfect. Yeah, really good. Wow. Like, if amazing. I got this in a restaurant, I'd be so excited. Yeah, ten wow. out of ten. It's unbelievable. Wow. What the heck? This is like one of the best things I've had in a long time. Wow. Oh, the olives. Whoever suggested in the beginning of this a savory French toast, you're smart. Yeah. I thought you were crazy. I have to. I've never had it before. No. I never thought of it. 
No, I take it back. I don't know I why, because it's kind of like a sandwich. I don't know why it would be like that crazy, but you're smart. Wow. It's so delicious. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh. Mm. Apparently, the receiver of the knife gives the gifter a penny, so the relationship is never cut apart. Mm. We haven't talked in years, and I didn't give him a, I didn't give him a penny. <laughs> no, we chat a little bit on Instagram. We don't live near each other anymore. Oh, wow. That was unbelievable. So, yeah, try okay. that recipe. Yeah. Wow. And the tofu in the French toast wa wash? Yeah. That worked great. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Delicious. High-protein high French toast. <laughs> All right, now time for a dessert. This is going to be... Oh, describe the taste. Okay. It's so like... um. Let me get into it again then. Don't <laughs> mind. Don't mind if I do. Um, definitely, I, I'm so bad at describing this. Okay. Okay. I mean, you're, you're picking up on the salsa, and you're picking up on like it's not it's not chewy. It kind of almost like falls apart in your mouth a yeah, little bit. Yeah, it does you fall the, apart. You get the avocado and the olives, which is like salty mm -hmm. but creamy, and then you get that tang of the. Salsa with the cilantro, yes. which is such a hit. Like if you, yeah. if you, oh, but then the actual bread itself is it, such a good combo. It tastes kind of like quiche. If you guys remember that, yeah, like, it does. It does taste like quiche with like extra toppings on top. Kind mm -hmm. of. Yep. Not super strong flavor, but just. It's really nice. I'm the the kalamanak. I don't know. It's like so subtle, mm -hmm. so you don't notice it too much. Which like I guess we put in a good amount. Um, yeah, someone just said, can you describe the toast itself? Can you taste the black salt? It's really subtle, the that. But that's how you kind of want it. You don't want it to be like, you know, you don't want it to, to take over. You don't want it to be like completely eggy. I mean, I guess you could. I would say there's like a slight hint of sweetness, but I think that's just from the soy milk. The soy milk we use is unsweetened, but I feel like there's always going to be a little bit of sweetness because soy is uh, maybe a little bit more sweeter in general. Yeah, I don't know. That's the best I can do as far as tasting it or describing <laughs> it. I, don't, I wasn't very good, but it tastes amazing. Definitely worth trying. Okay. I, it's like, um, yeah, it, that's one of those meals that would be good for breakfast, for lunch, or for dinner. Yeah. Man, I'm really selling it. Okay. And if you put like a tofu scramble on top of that? Yeah, that a would A little bit be, higher protein. Oh, oh, that would be absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Instead of having like... Hash browns, you just had that toast. Ooh. Can you put the recipes up or maybe another ebook? Yeah. Maybe another ebook because we didn't really uh, measure the recipes. That's what's fun with these is we uh, kind of just create out of nowhere. Yes. Someone said if you want the calamine act to taste more, you have you should add it after cooking. That's true. We could like put some on the top or whatever. But yeah, when you cook it, it does kind of like mellow out the flavor. That's right. <laughs> Sh Shalinda's like uh, so proud of us. I'm proud of us too. Look at what we made. <laughs> it only took us an hour and 17 minutes. But if you were cooking this at home and you weren't talking, you would be able to make this a lot Way quicker. Way quicker. Okay. So here we go. The piece de resistance. Yeah, this is just looks unbelievable. So, like, this is going to be bad, but... <laughs> yeah, no, I mean... <laughs> okay. Oh, my, oh, mine's so messy. Got to get everything on there. This... Okay. Oh, my gosh. It's so hard to get everything on there. It is. The nuts kind of crystallize together a little bit. Okay. okay. There's my fork full. Wait, just a second. You would need the knife? Or... I need, no, I need a nut. There you go. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, you all know. Yeah. You all know how good this is. Mmm. Not as sweet as I thought I was going to be. The, um, the... Oh, the man. protein powder in the egg wash, you can't really taste it, and it doesn't taste like stevia. No, it does not taste like stevia, but I do get the vanilla, which yes. is nice. Like, a pretty good amount of the vanilla. Um, of There's course, no bean flavor from the chickpea zero. powder, which is very surprising, because I thought it was going to be, yeah, like, really bitter. Yeah, that's what I thought, because when we tasted the wash, I was like, oh, no, we made a mistake. Yeah, and then the toppings are just perfect. Man, we really nailed this one. I can really taste the nutmeg. Like the nutmeg mm. definitely has like um a good like hit in it. Mm -hmm. Good kick, I should say. Mm -hmm. Not a hit. No. Whatever. I wouldn't. Excuse me. I wouldn't change a single thing. In I would. Age. 
I would add a little bit of syrup, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to add a little bit of syrup just to make it a little. Yeah. Because I feel like it just, it might might be a little bit more on the dry side, whereas the savory one had like the salsa on top. Mm. And I made it a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, so proud. Is there a difference in toasted versus non-toasted bread? Can't tell. We didn't toast it for very long. <laughs> yeah, we can't tell. I didn't even think of that. No, can't either. tell. But we didn't actually like get it to where it was like crispy toasted, right? Mm. Mm. With a little maple syrup on top. Yeah. Not that you need it, but. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it would be good. Well, I have such a sweet tooth. I, I If I just start doing that with putting maple syrup on anything I want sweeter, it would just be like everything I eat. So. I do, it's not that I wanted it sweeter. It's just I wanted it. I wanted a little bit more. Um, maple. Well, because the peanut butter is like like thick, but it's right. not like runny like the salsa was. So sometimes it's nice to have something that's not like. It, like you know what? Wider, it's possible. It, it's no, I can't tell the difference if one's toasted or not. I, th I was going to say one may be a little bit firmer than the mm. other, but I don't think so. The the nuts, though, with the the cinnamon <laughs> and maple syrup are so good. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to say. I think the calendied jalapenos would be better on the sweet toast. Try it out. It almost tastes like cinnamon toast in a way. Yeah, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of cinnamon in this. Um, I'll try a couple of those candied jalapenos on that. I'll let you know how that is. I didn't realize that this is this was live. Your food always looks so good. Oh wow, cool. Well, the quality must be pretty decent then. I guess this new uh, the new computer was a good investment. Mm -hmm. We needed it though, because like, yeah. The Crystal uses the MacBook that we started Cinnamon Nutrition with like eight <laughs> eight years ago or whatever. And it makes the craziest sounds. She'll just be watching TV and it'll sound like someone like has like a chainsaw in like the freaking living room. <laughs> it's, not <laughs> it's not that bad, but it's pretty loud. It's like... And her keyboard doesn't work. So she'll have like <laughs> she'll have like the, the, the on-screen keyboard up there half the time and she has to like actually like move to type it in. Yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? But it was broken. But it is, but it is broken, but so yeah, Derek was like, okay, well. So of course I got the new one and then she got my other one that was working. Okay, here Sometimes goes. Sometimes you just gotta do that. Uh, with the jalapenos. Mm. Yeah, you should try it. With the jalapeno? Yeah, it's really good. Oh. Can I have two? Oh, th thank you. Yeah, I'm not complaining there. I was actually pleasantly surprised. It's not bad. I don't like to mix sweet with uh, spicy, spicy things like that, personally. Mm. But it's okay. <laughs> Hummus eating contest? No, the you only get one contest per video, and that was the arm wrestling, which was... Because I would win, I would definitely win the hummus eating contest, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. I think I could be a competitive eater if I tried. Oh, my gosh. Someone said, yeah, yeah, good quality. Watching you on 65-inch TV, it looks really good. Oh, man, that makes me want to stand back a little bit. <laughs> That's a big TV. Sweet. Well, I don't know. That's pretty much it. If you guys have any like little questions here or there, we can answer a couple really quickly while, you know, we crush this. But uh, yeah, if not, like, I don't know, we can either end it. You guys can just watch us eat. <laughs> no. uh, so it's a great live. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, this was really fun. This was really fun. I want. Yeah, I, I love doing these lives every so often, especially when, uh, you know, I have lots of ideas, but sometimes it's like kind of different things as far as why I don't film. Sometimes it's like confidence, sometimes motivation, sometimes whatever, you know, just happens. So uh, I always got these lives in the back pocket as the old wild card and it's fun to pull them out because it always makes me feel so good and fills my cup. And yeah, it's uh, nice to get a good fun upload up on the weekend. Um, orange hand. So, oh, someone says sidetrack. Do y'all get orange hands or souls? How do you deal with that? That's funny. Yeah, that's called beta keratinosis. I don't have it. Uh, now, but it's not a dangerous thing. Uh, it's pretty funny. I have a story about that. When I first kind of went vegan, my mom uh, noticed it and she was like really worried about me. You know how moms are. They're like, they tell you eat your vegetables and your fruit all your life. And then you start eating only that. And they're like, you're going to die. So uh, she was worried about me, made me go to the doctor. And I went to the doctor and she said, what is the problem? Why are you here? And I was like this. And I showed her my hands and they were orange. And uh, she laughed and she said, no, that's called um beta keratinosis there's another name for it as well um but it's very similar to that and it's basically just when you have a lot of beta carotene in your blood uh it, your your body somehow puts it into the uh into your skin pigment so 
Uh, and that's that's the only reason. There's no you know no real danger for it or anything like that. Yeah. So yeah, if you're eating a lot of orange vegetables or red, that kind of stuff happens. The nice thing with beta carotene is it's not toxic like like actual preformed vitamin, vitamin A. Vitamin yeah. A. Too mm -hmm. much vitamin A, you bad. But you don't have to worry about that on a vegan diet. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> He's turning into a carrot. The horror. Yeah, you you are what you eat, aren't you? Which French toast is your favorite? Hmm. That's tough. I honestly I want to say this savory one because oh sorry. Because you know, I knew what that other one was gonna taste like. I make something similar all the time. Not with the chickpea flour, but um uh, yeah, it's uh it's phenomenal. So I, I don't know, I would say that. Uh Oh, for your information, if you are a cigarette smoker, beta carotene can become an issue. I didn't know that. I know that if that's with vitamin A, but I didn't know that these with beta carotene as well. And I knew that from supplementation, but I have never heard that from food. So it's I'm not saying no, but I'm I'm not I don't know that uh, either. So, but yeah, that is how they kind of yeah I I do know there's some studies about that. So it'd be worth looking up if you are or were recently a smoker. Yeah, I think the savory one's my favorite too. It's so easy to make things like sweet and delicious, but the savory, it's like, oh, it just hits so Yeah, good. I can't believe we all came up with this. This is amazing. Yeah, what a great idea. Savory French toast. Someone Ooh. said, would you say protein powder for breakfast oatmeal can be used even if you don't work out? Yeah, you could you could do that if you like the flavor of it and you want, um, you know, you want to bump your protein up where you're not getting enough. Some people find that protein is uh, like having more protein in their meals is more satiating than if they just have like a straight like carby meal alone. So that's, uh, yeah, I mean, that's an option. You don't have to, I always, when I was younger and like when I first started working out and this is like, I didn't work out for very long when I was like, you know, 13 or 14 when we were like really young and I'm like going into high school or whatever. And like, uh, you'd see those ads for like protein powder. And I always thought it was like, once you start taking protein powder, now you're going to build muscle. Now it's like, you're a bodybuilder. You're going to turn into those guys on the cover, but it's not really like that. Uh, it just, you know, it's just like just food. So or not just food, but you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's not going to do much more than just upping your protein from a food source. Mm. Uh, so I, th I have to thank you for the banana and date trick to sweeten my oatmeal. I love it. Yeah. That's a great little trick. Blend up a uh, banana and a date and a little bit of water. And then you cook your oatmeal in that really good. Somebody said they need more vegan restaurants, especially breakfast places. I agree because for dinner, there's just so many options mm. and I love, yeah, I, I just love like cooking my own dinners and stuff. But sometimes for like a good vegan brunch, you want to go out and have, you know, a nice tofu scramble or whatever. I don't think there's anywhere around here where we can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, does turmeric help with menstrual cramps at all? Crystal will be the one to answer that. It, it could it could, it could, cause it can help with um, inflammation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could. I wouldn't I would say if you're looking for more like inflammatory um, help with it than taking like a supplement would probably be helpful. I think turmeric can also be helpful for like um, heavy periods as well. But again, you have to kind of like supplement because I don't think you can take in as much uh, through just having like, you know, turmeric powder and stuff. Yeah. So you could look into that for sure. Yes. Uh, what has helped you? Uh, it was, uh, don't you think regular, didn't you say regular consumption of flax seeds helped you with? Uh, yeah, regular consumption of flax seeds and like flax. increasing your omega-3s can be really, really helpful. Um, just in general health, but also for like menstrual health and for helping with period pain and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Serious high. Yeah. So people are saying, come to this place, you know, in this, uh, like in London and that sort of stuff in other areas of the world. Yeah, definitely. There's lots of, lots of vegan options, but for some reason, um, it's, there's not a ton here. Uh, I'm still waiting for that. How many beans can Derek eat in one city video? I don't know. <laughs> you got to count them one by one. A thousand, um, a thousand of them. I think we're coming up on an hour and a half. Okay, so, so probably coming. good. Yeah, yeah, I was just reading some comments there, some interesting ones. But uh, uh, yeah, where do you buy your flax seeds, whole or ground already? Uh, we get them at our local health food store. We just get them. Uh, we get we get them either or. I don't know. It kind of whatever. So sometimes they're out of like one or the other, but we'll either get them whole and then grind them ourselves or get them already pre-ground. I know people have a lot of worries about um, the omegas uh, oxidizing, but as long as you keep them in like a sealed package away from light, uh, they do not, uh, the omega threes don't like drastically oxidize very quickly. So that's all right. And you can actually cook with them as well. And a lot of people don't realize that think mm -hmm. that it totally nukes the omega three content of it, but it doesn't. Uh, all right. So 
think that's probably it. How did you shift? <laughs> one more question. One more question. <laughs> How did you shift the mindset? How did you do the mindset shift when you went whole foods, plant-based diet? I find myself struggling with going out with friends. Yeah, that's a tough thing. That is tough. But, you know, you still want to have a social life and stuff. What you can do is like eat something healthy before you go out. So you're not totally starving when you go out. And then that way you're not like thinking of like, oh, what's the most like, you know, what's the most um, satisfying calorie dense, you know, delicious thing on the menu that I can have. You might make some slightly better choices if you're not going there like super hungry. Right. And then just do your best outside of that. And then you're going to start feeling great and you're not going to, you know, crave mm -hmm. those foods quite as much. But yeah, that's, that's all I have uh, to say about that one. I think it's okay to also like, if you go to a restaurant and there's like fries or something or whatever that's vegan on the menu and you're like out with friends once in a while, mm -hmm. that's okay. It's not like a whole food plant-based meal, but you're still having fun and stuff like that. And I think having a little bit of flexibility is important too, when exactly. it comes to like the mindset, like eating really healthy at home um, is great. But you can also have, you know, fun with like vegan meals outside of the house too, if you want. You <laughs> no know? fun. Eat healthy food before you go, then healthy food at the well, restaurant. Well, it's just fun. No, like I you're know. out with friends and stuff and all your friends are getting like fries. And, yeah. Like, and you're like, like, junk food. And you're like, I'll just oh, have I a eat, salad. No, I eat whole food plant-based and there's nothing here for me. Or like, oh, I can get fries. They're vegan, but I don't eat that because I try to eat whole foods and stuff. Unless there's like, you know, really strict reason. I yeah. Think it's okay to. It's, it is tough though when you go out. Same with like drinking and stuff like that. That was like hard for me uh, when I yeah, stopped no, drinking it, as that well. I, I understand it. Anyways, everyone says thanks so much for the fun live stream. Doug Hall also said uh, thank you. He's a member. I believe it's the same Doug Hall, member of the Facebook community. Appreciate uh, everything that you do in there and all your posts. He's one amazing cook himself. Um, so yeah, thank you guys all for hanging out. This was awesome. Someone said you were awesome, Derek. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. And um, yeah, I think that's probably going to be it so thank you all for joining hopefully you enjoy these meals if you make them tag me on instagram <laughs> oh no it's, the graphic's not going to come up but tag me on instagram if you make these i'd love to see it and uh yeah i'll check my mentions and stuff like that so i can see if uh if anybody makes these in the next couple of days so i hope everyone has a fun rest of the day get out there get some activity do some stretching or something don't sit too much and have fun yeah have fun because <laughs> it's all about having fun <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> all right thank you everybody bye, -bye. and thank you crystal bye. oh you're Always welcome a treat when you're it's uh, so when you're with us here so fun i love yeah. these i love these lives all right see ya. bye everybody bye